स्टूडेंट्स लेट अस सॉल्व दिस जेई एडवांस 2020 पेपर टू प्रॉब्लम नंबर थ्री टू लार्ज सर्कुलर डिस्क सेपरेटेड बाय अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ 0.01 मीटर डी इक्वल टू 0.01 मीटर आर कनेक्टेड टू अ बैटरी वाया अ स्विच एज सोन इन फिगर देयर इज अ फिगर आई विल शो यू चार्ज ऑयल ड्रॉप्स ऑफ डेंसिटी 900 हंड्रेड पर मीटर क्यू रो इक्वल टू 900 हंड्रेड पर मीटर क्यूब आर रिलीज थ्रू अ टाइनी होल एट द सेंटर ऑफ द टॉप डिस्क वंस सम ऑयल ड्रॉप्स अचीव टर्मिनल वेलोसिटी द स्विच इज क्लोज टू अप्लाई अ वोल्टेज ऑफ 200 हंड्रेड वोल्ट अप्लाइड वोल्टेज डेल्टा भी इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड वोल्ट नाउ द रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चन इज एज अ रिजल्ट An oil drop of radius this r equal to 8 into 10 to the power minus 7 meter stops moving vertically and floats between the disc. The number of electrons present in this oil drop is. Neglect the buoyancy force, take acceleration due to gravity this, and charge on an electron is this. We have to calculate the number of charge present in the oil drop. There is a figure. This. Now, we understand the full question. Upper disc, lower disc, both are connected to a battery of voltage 200 volt via a switch. The distance between these two metal disc is 0.01 meter, and some oil drops are. dropped through this hole so that it can fall between the disc now initially switch is open and some drops are falling down with terminal velocity what this means is let's let the one drop is this and it moving with velocity v downward and this is the terminal velocity it means the total force on this drop is zero what are the forces one force is mg which is acting downward and second force is stokes law viscous force so viscous force acts in opposite direction of velocity and the magnitude of this force is 6 pi nita r into terminal velocity v as this velocity v is terminal it means the upward force and downward force are same in magnitude so they cancel out it means its acceleration at that at this point is zero so the particle move with same velocity now if we again see the particle at this point its velocity is v downward force is mg mg will not change v is not change so this stokes force will not change so this force is again 6 pi nita r into v we have not taken account of buoyancy because this is given in question neglect buoyancy okay what happen now after this situation switch is closed and a voltage is applied between the disc when the disc uh, is connect when the voltage is applied between the disc this part is connected with positive terminal and this metal disc is connected with negative terminal so there will be some positive charge on this disc and some negative charge on this part due to this charge distribution an electric field exists between the disc and the direction of electric field is from positive to negative charge let us call the magnitude of this electric field is e we know the potential difference between these two plates and the distance between these two plates so we can calculate the value of electric field so electric field equal to delta v divided by d what is delta v 200 and what is d 0.01 so the magnitude of electric field is 2 into 10 to the power 4 newton 
पर कुलम न्यूटन पर कुलम ओके ड्यू टू दिस इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड द एक्सेस इलेक्ट्रॉन ऑन दिस ड्रॉप due to the excess electron present in this drop a force will act on this drop in vertically upward direction what is the magnitude of this force q into e charge into electric field now at this situation total force is zero when this force act there will be an acceleration in upward direction due to that acceleration this speed will go down and after some time after some time there will be a situation when this v becomes zero when this v becomes zero what are the forces acting in downward direction mg will act and in upward direction electrostatic force q into e will act what about the stokes force viscous force due to v equal to 0 this force is zero so only two forces will act now question in question it is given that this particle float this particle will float only when at this situation v equal to 0 and a also should be zero it means the total force in upward direction and downward direction must be equal so we got a condition that for floating at rest qe equal to mg from quantization of charge q should be equal to n into e into e equal to m into g now we have to calculate number of electrons so number of electrons should be equal to mg divided by small e बिगी नाउ वी नो ऑल द थिंग्स बट इन केस ऑफ मास मास इज नॉट गिवन डायरेक्टली इट इज गिवन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डेंसिटी एंड रेडियस एज द ऑल ड्रॉप इज अस्फेरिकल वी कैन से डैट मास इक्वल टू वॉल्यूम इन टू डेंसिटी वॉट इज द वॉल्यूम वॉल्यूम ऑफ स्फेयर फोर बाई थ्री पाई आर क्यूब इन टू रो नाउ लेट एस पुट ऑल दिज नंबर्स सो मास इक्वल टू फोर पाई आर क्यू बाई रो डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री इंटू जी एम जी थ्री इंटू ई इंटू ई सो लेट अस पुट ऑल द नंबर्स एंड चेक वाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ एन सो नंबर्स विल बी लाइक दिस फोर वैल्यू ऑफ पाई थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर आर टू दावर थ्री एट टू दी पावर थ्री इंटू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस थ्री क्यूब तो टेन टू दी पावर माइनस ट्वेंटी वन डेंसिटी नाइन हंड्रेड नाइन हंड्रेड इंटू जी टेन डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री इंटू ई वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टेन टू दी पावर माइनस नाइनटीन वैल्यू ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड टू इंटू टेन टू दावर फोर नाउ लेट एस कैलकुलेट दिस नंबर सो टू कैलकुलेट दिस नंबर फर्स्ट सेपरेट दिज टू फॉर्म इन टू डिफरेंट पार्ट वन पार्ट कंटेन नंबर एंड अदर पार्ट कंटेन पावर ऑफ टेन सो नंबर फोर इंटू थ्री पॉइंट वन फोर इंटू एट टू दी पावर थ्री इंटू नाइन दीज आर द नंबर्स डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री इंटू वन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू टू दीज आर द नंबर्स नाउ पावर ऑफ टेन दिस 10 to the power minus 21 plus 2 plus 1 okay now 10 to the power plus 19 minus 4 minus 4 let us calculate the value of this form 
so to calculate fast i use calculator but you should calculate manually 8 into 8 into 9 divided by 3 into 1.6 into 2 this comes about 6.02 so the number of electron n should be equal to 6 nearest integer so n should be equal to 6 now let us see what is the situation and how i reach this point these are the two plates we have given the voltage between the two plates and the distance between the two plates so i can easily find the value of electric field which is e equal to delta v by d so we can get the value of e once we get the value of e we know the electric force on electron so electric force on electron is q into e now the drop is initially moving with the terminal velocity so the total force is zero once the electric field exists it causes the deceleration of this small drop so its speed will decrease and there will be a time when the when the speed of this oil drop becomes zero now this is the situation when the speed becomes zero viscous force will stop acting if this particle float it means at that situation velocity should be zero and acceleration should be zero so a is zero means the total force is zero so the upward force and downward force must be equal and we get this equation from the quantization of charge q should be equal to n into e and we get a formula of n mass is not given directly but we can put the for in the form of volume into density once we get this value we put all the numbers and get the value of n equal to six now let us see what the response of students in this exam only 11 percent student have correct answer n equal to 6 in number only 16,000 nearly 17,000 student have solved this problem 18 percent student 27,000 students got the wrong number but 71 percent students did not answer this question this is a very basic question and this setup is called millikan oil drop experiment very very important for j advance and 81 percent people did not attempted this question so this so that millikan oil drop question is a very good question with respect to the students they are unable to touch that part so i say that question is easy but come from the portion where students did not learn the concept properly.